So you have to say, white rice is one of the most popular side dishes in the world as it virtually goes with almost any meal from stews to grilled fish to fried eggs and beyond. The problem is most recipes for white rice are very bland and don't have a lot of flavor. They just add texture to any meal. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a white rice that has so many flavors to it, it might just become the centerpiece of your meal. We're talking Spanish arroz al ajillo. This white rice has so many beautiful flavors to it. It's above and beyond easy to make and it comes together in under 30 minutes. Folks, this is a recipe you do not want to miss. Let's begin by adding in three cups of vegetable broth into a saucepan which is 711 milliliters. The broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the iCard above and description box below. And we'll heat it with a medium high heat. Now by using broth instead of water to cook the rice is one of the reasons why this rice dish has so many great flavors. If you don't have broth, you can also use water with a vegetable bouillon cube. While our broth is heating up, I'm gonna heat a large frying pan with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna grab one head of garlic. Yes, you heard that correctly. We're gonna use an entire head of garlic for this rice dish. This is another one of the reasons why this rice dish has so many great depths of flavors. And as you know, I like to twist the cloves as the skins are easily removed. And we'll thinly slice the garlic. After heating the olive oil for about three minutes, it should be nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it hasn't lost any of its beautiful flavor. At this point, I'm gonna add the sliced garlic into the pan. And we'll start mixing the garlic around with the olive oil. Very important to mix this continuously, that way the garlic doesn't brown too quickly and it all evenly sautés. After about three minutes and the garlic is lightly sauteed, you don't want to brown it too much. It's time to add in the rice. For this recipe, I'm using Spanish round rice. It's very similar to either medium grain rice or arborio rice, which is the rice that's made to use risotto. I'm gonna measure out one cup, which is 220 grams, and add the rice into the pan. And we'll season everything with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix the rice around with the olive oil and the garlic and mix it continuously for a couple minutes. That way that rice can be lightly toasted. After about two minutes and everything is well mixed and that rice is lightly toasted, I'm gonna grab our hot vegetable broth and slowly add it into the pan. and we'll turn up the fire from a medium heat to a high heat. And we'll give the rice one final mix, that way everything's evenly distributed. And like I always tell you, after this step, you don't want to mix the rice again, otherwise it disrupts the way that it cooks. What do I mean by that? If you overmix the rice, it's going to start releasing a starch, which at the end is going to take away its beautiful texture. After about eight to nine minutes, you can see the majority of that broth has been absorbed by the rice, but there's still some broth left. I'm gonna place a lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer this on a low medium heat with the lid on for another six to eight minutes or until all that broth has been absorbed by the rice. After about eight minutes and all that broth has been absorbed by the rice, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and we'll transfer the rice into a shallow bowl. For the final touches, I'm gonna grab a handful of fresh parsley, finely chop it, and sprinkle it over the rice. And for the final ingredient, I'm gonna finely grate some lemon zest over the rice, making sure not to add any of the white pith as it adds a bitter flavor. And check it out, our Spanish arroz al ajillo is done. So easy to make, beautiful presentation truly, the next level in white rice. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Seriously, look how beautiful this turned out. Here we go.
It is so good. It's one of those dishes where less is more and simplicity meets its story because we're using such minimal ingredients but it has so many great flavors. The rice is beautifully cooked along with that vegetable broth that really takes it to the next level. All that garlic, the parsley, and the kiss of lemon zest together, an explosion of so much goodness. You saw this, very easy to make and done in under 30 minutes. Try this rice dish at home. You will not believe how good it is. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener, Martin John Madsen, Jesper Holm, and Jim Owens. Once again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you want to support Spain on a Fork so I can continue making videos just like this one, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash the subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.